Almost 20 years ago, a federal lawsuit was filed against Tulsa for the 1921 race massacre. That was thrown out. This new lawsuit was filed in state court. And attorneys say that Oklahoma's win against the opioid companies makes it possible. And be able to say, hey, this opioid lawsuit provided an actual road map that we can follow to success, man, we are truly excited. Lead attorney DeMario Solomon Simmons and his team filed a lawsuit in the Tulsa District Court this morning asking the city of Tulsa, Tulsa County, and others to pay reparations for what happened during the 1921 Tulsa race massacre and the lasting effects. Those entities created a nuisance. That nuisance is still causing a problem. They need to abate it. Solomon Simmons says legally they are making the same claim the state of Oklahoma did when a judge awarded it $500 million from opioid companies last year. They say Tulsa and the other entities caused a public nuisance that still hasn't been resolved 100 years later. And because that started in the 80s and it was continuing to this day, the opioid companies were responsible to abate that nuisance. That's what's so powerful about the Oklahoma nuisance law. It does not have a statute of limitation. Among the named plaintiffs, one of the two known living survivors from the massacre, 105-year-old Lessie Benningfield Randall. She, she harbors no ill will in her heart, but she will tell you that she feels like she's old and her family was old. She, she terms it that she should have received some type of a pension for what happened to her and her family. We did reach out to the city of Tulsa. We're told they do not comment on pending litigation. Chase Horn. Oklahoma's News 4. The lawsuit also claims unjust enrichment by the city of Tulsa and the other named defendants.